welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a what I eat in a day, which to be honest, I have shied away from. I feel like the diet, food, nutrition, what I eat in a day sort of field is so murky and I've been wanting to stay out of it, but this is highly requested and I love watching these kinds of videos. So I just want to make a quick disclaimer that this is for entertainment purposes. This is just a bit of fun to show you guys what I'm eating today on a random day in August, 2020. Like I didn't eat this yesterday. I'm not going to eat this tomorrow. This is just what I'm eating today based on the activities I'm doing, based on the food that's at my house, based on my social circle. Like this is, this is a random day and this is what I'm eating today. Just remember that this is just for entertainment. I, I guess so curious to see what other people eat and what other people do in their day and I'm just trying to provide the same thing for you guys so I um just finished f45 I'm sore and I'm tired anyway I'm gonna have a snack this is what I'm gonna eat there we go just one of those Carmen's protein bars um, really good snack I like to eat it straight after working out just checking my phone anyway I'm gonna eat this and it's around, what is the time? Like eight o'clock-ish, I think. It's nearly eight o'clock, so I'm actually going to go to 7-Eleven on my way home and get a coffee. Let's get going. Let's turn this into this. Honestly, where was my life without coffee? So it's about 9.30 now and I'm thinking I need something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry and I'm about to head out and get my hair done. So I definitely need to make something before I go. Let's get into making a breakfast smoothie. guys it is like 1 p.m. and I am starving it is way past lunchtime I was probably starving about an hour ago but anyway I just got my hair done so obsessed with it and I just went to the library to get some books for our trip away next week um, and because I've been out for a while oh you guys I'm so hungry so it is time to go home and make some lunch all right, guys, this is the situation. I'm going to make some falafels. I'm going to toast up a wrap. I've got a little bit of salad left. I'm going to wash this lettuce and add to it hummus avocado. It's all, it's all going to come together and make sense. Today's lunch, we have a toasted wrap on the bottom topped with hummus. And then I had some romaine lettuce, the dark leaf, plus some leftover salad, which had mixed lettuce, like mescaline, spinach, rocket, all of that in there. With some snow pea, cucumber, capsicum, bits of carrot, beans, green beans, some tomato. Can't really remember what else was in there. Um, and then I topped it with a couple dollops of hummus. Again, that's like my dressing. Half an avocado, roughly chopped. Some little crumples of feta on top, because mm, yum, cheese, feta. And then I, like I said, I topped it with the salad topper, some hemp seeds and then these are four falafel balls and this will be my lunch so 
So the problem I always face when I wait too long to eat lunch and wait until I'm starving is I find it really hard to feel full. That's why I usually like to eat as soon as I'm hungry or like pretty much start to feel hungry and I just I want to eat between at least half an hour of that not an hour to two hours because then I have this problem so I am snackish and I am hungry and I am feeling like something sweet so I'm actually just gonna eat this one so it's a oat bar now not sure how nutritious these are but these are the chocolate ones and they taste like brownies i don't know they've got like chunks of chocolate in there i'm not sure but i don't know sometimes i feel a little bit better eating something like this than a solid chocolate bar and um hopefully it will help fill the gap until tonight when we go out for dinner with our friends <laughs> fulfilled no I'm not gonna go with the word fulfilled 